So let's get you back out to Maryland. Sarge joining the program. That is Seth Brown with Brody Brazil and Bip Roberts here in studio. And since you guys are close friends, apparently, Bip, go ahead. I'll let you. It's my guy, Sarge. Good job out <laughs> yeah, there today. Up, How you doing? Hey, Thank man. You. I appreciate it. I'm doing good. Hey, after you got that lousy single, <laughs> you just dialed it up and you started going deep. Walk me through the first home run and let me know what you were thinking that second time. Um, I, I honestly, you know, I was looking at some film here in between innings and it's just something I battle. My effort level gets a little bit too high. Um, and so after that, uh, that first two at bats, I came out, I was like, all right, I just got to tone down the effort level um, and got that first pitch curveball to hit. Um, and then my last at bat there, all I was thinking was just let's, let's replicate it. You know, let's stay easy. Um, you know, this guy's a cutter guy. He's gonna, everything he's going to throw is going to move away from you. So try and get him close um, and just stay smooth and easy and see what happens, you know. And, and, you know, luckily I was able to get a first pitch there that was close in and uh, put a good swing on him. Seth, when you say tone down the effort level, that's not the attention level. That's not maybe the intensity level. What, what do you mean by tone down the effort level? Uh, just the, the the level like when I'm swinging, you know, my effort yeah. gets gets heavy sometimes, and instead of swinging 100 percent, you know, I got to keep it in that 75 percent range just just to stay consistent. And you know, like I said, it's just something I battle. Uh, my effort level goes up, and you know, my barrels get inconsistent. So, um, yeah, no, it's just something I battle. They say the same thing about a golf swing, I guess, sometimes too. You're, you're trying too hard on the swing. Absolutely. Hey, so you hit Absolutely. one up. You hit one up to Utah Street. You're only the third big leaguer this season to hit one up there, and I think only since '92, like 115 baseballs have landed up there. Uh, have you kind of realized that, or did you realize that when it happened, where that baseball was going for your second dinger? All I hit when I hit it, I was like, just please stay fair. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I was thinking, man. Okay, and so eventually, at the end of the second home run, when you do get into the dugout, I initially saw Mark Kotze not even look at you, and then I realized the rest of the guys were giving you the silent treatment. Uh, you recognize that pretty early, and I'm sure that also is kind of a nice compliment from them. Oh, yeah, no, this team's great. You know, we're, we're a lot of guys are real close, uh, and it's just it's fun to be out here with them playing every day. So uh, it's just it's one of those things where you get lucky with a group of guys, and uh, everybody's close, and it, with all the new guys we had coming in, everybody fits perfect. So, uh, yeah, it's a fun group of guys to be around. All right, 18 and 19 homers on the season as of today. Brownie, uh, 25 right around the corner. I'll just say it like that. I hope you get there. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem, guys. I appreciate it. See you guys. All right, safe travels to Seth Brown and the rest of the Oakland A's.